Hello, this is Susie Lawson, and this is a sort of a continuation of the webinar I did for Digital Art Academy. I had a few questions at the end, and I kind of wanted to answer them because we didn't, we ran out of time. And this is on the creation of brushes and how to save them and share them and, and make sure they're safe if your computer crashes. So I'm going to start with creating a brush. I have opened a new and you can do that just by going to file new canvas and it's 600 by 600 pixels which is good for making brushes because you don't want them too too large and i'm going to go to my number 19 brush here with all the dynamics unclicked so basically i just want a good solid 100 percent opaque brush and i'm going to make a hairbrush and in order to make a hairbrush i need to think of the tip of the bristle and um tip of the bristle is just going to be little dots just like if you look at the top of your hairbrush in order to get the stroke right you need all the little bristles and it doesn't have to be real tight and clean they can vary in size okay now I'm going to go over here to my rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to select it then I'm going to go to edit Define brush preset and I'm going to name my hairbrush whatever you want say hairbrush 3 click OK click back on your brushes and you will see your hairbrush will show up in your brushes right here it is and one of the questions I got is once you change the dynamics you see here let me unclick the uh, deselect this we want to change our brush because we of course do not want to paint hair with a dotted brush it's a good way to do freckles however but not hair so we're going to go to our spacing and we're going to eliminate our spacing completely and for nice soft hair we're going to cl click on other dynamics and let's try this brush out. You see that makes very believable hairbrush. Now every time I open my Photoshop and I click on this particular hairbrush it's going to go back to the default setting. So how can I change that? How can I go back and change this brush but, but be able to open up Photoshop and have all these dynamics that I've already set not to have the hassle of doing that over again. So you're going to need to go to your brush palette up here and you're going to click on this little square. And you notice that Photoshop adds a 1 to it so that means we, we have the hairbrush 3 which is what I named it and this will be the first change that you make. You can change this to 2 or, or any other number. Click OK and immediately you will see the hairbrush whoops <laughs> the hairbrush is right here let's go back and show you see the, the one that we didn't save and the one that we did save so uh, I've actually got a few emails after my webinar saying how the heck do I save all these so that's how you do that Okay, and another uh, question that I get quite a lot through emails is, okay, I've created all these cool custom brushes, but how do I save them as a set? Like, you don't, if you want to open up your palette and only have the brushes that you want saved, let me show you how to do that. Or if you want to share a set with friends or post them to the internet. Let's go up here and we're going to go to Preset Manager. And you'll find the brushes that you want saved and you're going to simply click Say I want to save a hairbrush, all my hairbrushes. Find all my hairbrushes. And then I'm going to save the set. And I'm going to title it Susie's Hairbrushes. And then you're just going to save that. And click Done. Let's go over here and if you 
if your computer ever crashes, you've got your brushes saved and you'll just click on load brushes and you'll see that you'll, you'll find all the brushes that you saved. Right here is the Susie's hair brushes. So that gives you a good security. <laughs> you can rest at ease that once you save your sets and, and save everything to your computer, if your Photoshop crashes or whatever, then, then you can just reload them. And I hope that was very helpful. Thank you very much.